From the end of September to the end of November, the Earth is experiencing a rare treat. A second moon is orbiting in the night sky. Well, not technically. This is because along with the planet's only natural satellite that the humans have walked on, the smaller rock will temporarily do an incomplete orbit around Earth and will act as a temporary companion to the Earth and the Moon in its journey around the Sun. Just last week, on the night of September 29-30, which is in Indian Standard Time, an asteroid called 2024 PT5, categorized as a near-Earth object, entered our planet's gravitational influence, got pulled in, and it became an official mini-moon to the Earth. In our solar system, we have rocky planets that are closer to the Sun. We know that Mercury, Earth, Moon, and Mars are all rocky planets. And of course, Earth and Mars also have rocky moons. Mercury and Venus do not. This is because when the solar system formed, a lot of the heavy objects and heavy elements, especially ones that make up rock, tend to stay closer to the Sun and the lighter ones made of ice and water vapor and dust particles moved away and formed gas planets and ice giants. But this is not uniform. It doesn't mean that there are no rocks beyond Jupiter. There definitely are and we know that there are a whole set of hundreds of thousands of rocks between Mars and Jupiter which would have formed a planet had Jupiter not existed. But these are all asteroids. This is the main asteroid belt in our solar system. It is an orbit full of tiny rocks that is going around the Sun. There are also other asteroids and comets that come from various parts of the solar system. There are a specific group of asteroids called near-Earth objects and these are the ones that orbit the Sun close to Earth's vicinity and that we need to keep an eye out on. When they come too close to Earth with a potential to impact Earth even if it is a hundred years in the future, they are called potentially hazardous objects. We haven't really had any. So far, we have not been in a situation where we had to shoot out something to divert an asteroid away from Earth because it was heading directly to the planet. We might have to do that in the future, more on that later. But for now, there are near-Earth objects, asteroids, that revolve around Earth and can be seen from telescopes on Earth. And 2024 PT5 is one such asteroid. Asteroid 2024 PT5 was identified by NASA's Asteroid Terrestrial Impact Last Alert System, or ATLAS, which is located in South Africa. This is a sky scanning project that is meant to detect near-Earth objects and potentially hazardous objects a few days before they reach Earth. This discovery was made in August of this year, where they found that 2024 PT5 was heading towards Earth. This is not risky, it's a very tiny rock, as we'll see. The findings, the discovery of this rock, was published by the Atlas researchers in a non-peer-reviewed journal, the Research Notes of AAS, American Astronomical Society. Asteroid 2024 PT5, and we're just going to call it the new mini-moon, it flies at a speed of nearly 3,540 kilometers per hour, and this, in astronomical terms, is sort of slow enough to be temporarily pulled in by Earth's gravity. Such rocks, which get captured temporarily around or near Earth before exiting the planet's gravitational sphere of influence, are called mini-moons. They're very tiny, they're irregularly shaped, so mini, and moon standing for anything that can be a potential temporary or permanent satellite. This asteroid that is now Earth's mini-moon will not even complete one orbit around Earth before exiting Earth's sphere of influence in November of 2024, this year, in two months. What it will instead do is make a horseshoe-shaped orbit around Earth before exiting away. It came from one end of the horseshoe and then will fly out through the other end. For some details, this bus-sized asteroid entered Earth orbit on Sunday at 7.54 p.m. UTC, which in Indian Standard Time is Monday at 1.24 a.m., and it will exit Earth's gravity on 25th November at 3.13 p.m. UTC or 8.43 p.m. IST. Now, we have a mini-moon around Earth, so can we actually step out and look at it? Turns out, not really. This rock is a mere 10 meters wide. It is nothing. 
It is the size of a bus, literally. And therefore, it cannot be spotted with the human eye, with the naked eye. It's not going to look like a shiny dot in the sky. And unfortunately, it's not going to be visible even with really powerful binoculars or amateur telescopes. This is such a small rock that to observe this, professional observatories are required. So we might be seeing images coming out from agencies like NASA soon over the next few days of this rock, but this is not something you and me can just step out, go to our backyards and take a binoculars or telescope and attempt to look at. Now what's interesting is that this is not Earth's only or first mini moon. It is not the first to be captured by the Earth or be pulled in by the planet's gravity before escaping away. Our blue planet has had at least three temporary rocks that acted as mini moons previously before escaping Earth's gravity. These temporary rocks were observed only during the past couple of decades and this is likely because we just did not have the equipment to see such really, really tiny rocks. We have had three in just the past two decades, so clearly this is not something that is that rare either. Earth does seem to be commonly capturing asteroids as mini moons before they fly away, just like most other planets do. In the future, we will definitely see more and more of these mini temporary moons coming towards Earth and leaving. What does this do? The image of a rock hurling towards Earth is kind of scary, especially considering we know now, as the joke goes, that the dinosaurs did not have a space program. So how risky is this bit of mini moon to Earth? Turns out, absolutely none. There is no risk that this asteroid and these kinds of asteroids pose to Earth at the moment. The risk is completely ruled out for now, maybe not so for the future when the rock goes around and comes back in its next orbit. This is the same case for other rocks as well. While many might not pose a risk now, there are potentially hazardous objects that are expected to impact Earth a hundred years from now. So there are government agencies already conducting planetary defense tests against space rocks, you know, where the term planetary defense actually makes sense. So we have NASA's Double Asteroid Redirection Test, the DART mission. This mission flew two years ago in 2022 and it was a first of its kind mission and it impacted the moon of a very distant asteroid in September of 2022. This ended up changing the orbit of the moon and this is what the objective of the mission was. In future, for space rocks that pose risk to Earth, governments can carry out asteroid impact avoidance missions, which is basically launching an impactor towards the asteroid to deviate it off its original path slightly while it is still very, very far enough for it to have a larger effect so that its orbit is deviated and it completely avoids the Earth. Now, we already know of hundreds of thousands of these tiny space rocks that are floating around. The riskiest of these are of course potentially hazardous objects and several are already known to us and we know that over 99% of these rocks that we have identified and that we are tracking currently are completely risk-free for at least a century. Some are influenced by Earth's gravity and they experience changes in their orbit. The new mini moon 2024 PT5 will not pose a risk to Earth and it will fly away. It just got influenced by Earth's gravity and did not get fully captured around the planet. Earth has previously played host to various types of companion moons. We have had two mini moons that orbited the planet, fully completed orbits, and then subsequently left the Earth's gravitational sphere of influence. Asteroid 2006 RH120 was gravitationally bound to the Earth from July 2006 to July 2007, while the asteroid 2020 CD3 orbited the planet around 2016-2017 all the way up to May 2020. These two mini moons were also technically classified as temporary satellites. They were proper satellites as they went all the way around the planet and orbited us. As the name suggests, temporary satellite, these satellites eventually leave the orbit or they collide with the planet. In doing so, they might break up over the atmosphere, they might fall into the ocean, and we have not really had serious mishaps of this kind so far that we know of. Earth also had another temporary satellite, asteroid 2020 NX1. This was in Earth's orbit for just 22 days in July 2002, and prior to that, it was also a mini moon to Earth in 1981. Temporary satellites and mini moons like these are completely different from another entirely different class of rocks called quasi-satellites. 
These are also considered a kind of moon to earth but not entirely. Quasi-satellites orbit the sun in resonance with earth's orbit. So they often orbit around the same path that the planet takes or are along the same path that the planet takes but they are going around the sun instead. Some are visible at a distance from earth like the moon is. The earth has seven known quasi-satellites of which the most famous and the most stable one is called asteroid 469-219 Kamo Oa Lewa. This was discovered in 2016 and as it goes around the sun, it also appears to orbit earth to an observer on the planet. However, this rock in its orbit around the sun is too distant from earth and earth's true gravitational influence and therefore it is technically not a satellite to earth like the moon is or like these other mini moons are. This asteroid orbits the sun at a minimum distance of 38 times the distance the moon is from earth to a maximum of 100 times the distance between moon and earth. So it's really really very far. Apart from quasi-satellites, there is still another group of space rocks that orbit with us. These are called Trojans. For people who've studied Jupiter, the word Trojan is very familiar. These rocks, Trojans, are asteroids and they orbit on the same orbit as another planet, either leading the planet or trailing it. They orbit these planets in the two Lagrange points that are lying on the orbit of a planet on either side. So, as the planet goes around the sun, the rocks also go along with it and they always stay ahead of the planet or behind the planet on the same orbit. These are called Trojans and they are not technically satellites of the earth because they don't orbit the earth. They are still orbiting the sun, they just occupy the same orbit as earth. Jupiter, of course, has hundreds of thousands of Trojans, both in the leading edge and the trailing edge, and other larger planets do as well, such as Uranus. But Earth, Earth is too close to the Sun to where all the rocks actually get pulled into the Sun, and therefore, it has only two leaning Trojans. There is a 300 meter wide asteroid called 2010 TK7, and there's a 1.2 kilometer wide asteroid called 2020 XL5, and both of these orbit in the leading edge of the Earth's orbit. So far, we do not know of any trailing Trojans for Earth that are orbiting the Sun behind Earth. So for the next two months, until November 25th of this year, we can expect to see more details and more images coming of our brand new mini-moon.